from the United States. I live here in Korea and I do a lot of work in modeling, voice acting, radio, and television. And I absolutely love this country here. I love the cities, it's so dynamic, and also the people are so kind and heartwarming and very welcoming. I always relish an opportunity to get to promote Korea to the rest of the world. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Today, we're going to be exploring Korea's smart cities, also known as cities of the future. And you are coming along with me. Now, did you guys know that Korea is the best in IoT? Korea is the leading in smart city technology. So Korea today, we are going to go and explore some of their smart city solutions, but I'm not gonna be taking this journey alone. I've got Eunyoung here today to help me along on this journey. Hey Eunyoung. Hey Kayla. How's it going? 안녕하세요. <laughs> Hi. Hi everyone, this is Eunyoung and I am so happy to be joining you guys. Today I'm going to be taking Kayla and all of you to show the smart city solutions here in Korean cities. Now as you are all aware, aware we are in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic, but we don't have to worry too much because of the great COVID-19 solutions we have here. Then let's go! Sounds good! Let's go check it out! Oh Kayla, yeah. you know that personal hygiene is everyone's top priority these days? Oh yeah, I know, totally. Yeah, yeah that's why in Korea we attach antivirus films onto surfaces that are frequently touched. Oh, those are antivirus films. You know, yeah. I actually saw those in the subway, mm -hmm. but I thought they were anti-slip. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't actually know that those mm. were for disease prevention. Yeah, they are. And I bet you probably saw those in the elevator too. Mm. You know, on elevator buttons, mm. those films, they are also antivirus films. Oh, no way. That's so amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. And look. Mm, it's so pretty here. Yeah, look at all the books. Mm. Oh, there's an escalator there. Oh yeah. By the way, Kayla, yeah. do you hold on to handrails when you take the escalator? No, I don't really know how like clean they are and stuff. Well, have you seen one of those before? Um no, I actually don't think I have. This is actually a small machine that keeps the handrail sanitized. It uses UV rays to keep it clean so that people passing by don't need to worry about how clean or not clean this is. No way! Yeah. That's so cool! You know, that actually reminds me, mm -hmm. I think I saw on the train on my way here mm -hmm. that there was like a row of these automatic hand sanitizer sprays. Mm -hmm. It just, it kind of makes me feel more comfortable to know mm. that Korea is taking these disease prevention measures so seriously. I know, you're right. I love that here. I got a question for you. What's this thing going on right here? Oh, this over here is a smart bus shelter. It opened in August of 2020. Right. And you can actually check your temperature over here before stepping in. Oh, do you mind if I try? Yeah, go ahead. Let me see here. All right, come up close. Oh, it worked. Yeah. All right, okay, let me my go. turn. All good. Nice. Wow, it's so hot in here. Yeah, it's thanks to that heater on the ceiling. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah, that heater is actually powered by solar panels. And during the summertime, it becomes an air conditioner as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there's definitely no chance that I'm going to get irritated waiting for a bus here. I mean, it's practically an oasis in here. You know what? You actually don't have to worry about waiting for the bus too much mm. because if you look over there, mm. through that screen, you can uh, find out when exactly the bus will come and mm. there will be a voice notification as well. Gosh, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I feel like everything here is about those smart systems, mm. even the buses. Yeah. You know, it says that our bus is going to come in 10 minutes actually, mm. so let's take a look around the shelter. Mm. You know, this heater slash air conditioner is not the only cool thing about the shelter. If you look over there, a UV sterilizer is in place as well. Wow, this place is so decked out. I know. I feel like it's even better than my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Kayla, you know that Korea is an IT powerhouse, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why we get free Wi-Fi here. Mm -hmm. And we can also charge our phones for free over here. <gasps> this is perfect for all those digital nomads. Mm -hmm. 
and you know it's also perfect for vulnerable people who are seeking for a place to rest mm -hmm. and also you can enjoy the soothing classical music in the background oh gosh i feel like we're in a movie here this is this beautiful little haven i know but you know gets even better mm. because there is a smarter solution nearby where we are we can go check it out right now you want to come yeah sounds good yeah, let's go the way. let's go such a nice night here yeah Oh, powerful. hey Anyan, what is this thing down here? Oh, that, that's like a new version of traffic light. So this is a smart crosswalk. Um, how does it work? Well, you know how people these days are always on their phones with their heads are towards the ground? Oh, well, that's yeah. why they put the traffic light on the ground so mm -hmm. that you can immediately see when the light turns from green to red. Oh, and plus if you go too close to it, you will hear a voice warning. So that's why it's called a smart crosswalk. Yeah. It's almost like it can see us. Well, technically it can see us through hmm. cameras and sensors. Oh, that's why, for example, if a car goes uh. past the stoplight, you'll know exactly which car because the car number will be displayed on the top. Oh my gosh, what smart technology is yeah. that? I mean, I feel so much safer knowing that this is here. Mm -hmm. But I mean, why is it so bright here? Oh, that's because of the spotlight installed right there so that people can cross safely even during the nighttime. I mean, yeah, there's definitely no way I'd be yeah. able to miss <laughs> this here. It's so bright. Yeah. But, you know, it's also pretty cool. I, maybe it's just my opinion, but I think it looks kind of pretty, don't you? Yeah, they look so pretty. They're like airport runway lights. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Wow. Oh my goodness. So now the light is blinking. Yeah, that means we have to cross fast. You know, that's so visible for the drivers as well. So <gasps> now the pedestrians can be safer this way. Well, I feel like everyone is going to be safer, don't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Oh, should we go? Yeah! Those are beautiful. Because he's so good at Korean mm -hmm. that like, I feel like he's even better than Koreans at Korean. Beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. Look at that colorful car there. I feel like I see them everywhere. Mm -hmm. Is this some sort of special car? Well, it's a bus. It's an iMod bus. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a cross between a cab mm -hmm. and a bus. You could call it a call bus. Oh, really? Yeah. So cool. <laughs> so people mm -hmm. heading towards a similar direction can share the bus mm -hmm. and the route will be automatically set to the most efficient one. Everyone can save their time. Wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, technology these days. Yep. It's got to be really convenient for people who are going to, mm -hmm. you know, these different routes that aren't available or mm -hmm. buses that aren't available as yeah. well. I mean, should we get on one? Yeah, actually, I can call one right yeah. now through my iMod app. Yeah. So if you go here, all I need to check is the current location mm -hmm. and the bus stops nearby the destination, mm -hmm. number of passengers and our payment option. Ooh. And voila, we are done. I just called our iMod. Wow. See, it shows the ETA for our departure and destination. That's so nice. Yeah. I mean, planning and time management mm -hmm. gets so much easier once you know your ETA. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's one of my favorite things about the Korean transportation mm -hmm. system here. You know exactly when the bus is coming mm -hmm. and you also know how long it takes to get from point A all the way to point B. I know. A public transportation system this smart and efficient mm -hmm. is rare. I really feel it when I go abroad. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, a like call bus, not mm -hmm. even a taxi. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a totally new experience for yeah. me. I'm totally going to tell my friends about it when I go back to the States. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, there it is! It arrived! Oh. Our bus number six! Nice. You know, you can avoid getting on the wrong one by checking the ETA and the vehicle number. Oh, cool! Yeah, shall we go for a ride? Sure! Yeah. Wait, hold on. Um, oh my gosh, I totally forgot my transportation card. Ah, don't worry about it. You don't need it. You see, the iMod app creates this QR code that uh -huh. acts as a bus ticket. So you can just scan it there and the payment will be automatically made through the cart you just registered through the app. Are you Serious? Mm -hmm. Gosh, I feel like everything <laughs> in this place here runs my smartphone. Yeah. I mean, is there anything here that's impossible? Apparently not. <laughs> All right, let's get on here. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna say 
here. You know, there's actually a lot of research going on in hmm. Korea to make public transportation more efficient hmm. and convenient. Uh, we also started our level 4 self-driving shuttles, hmm. and they're not fully autonomous yet, but they are driverless. Wow, that is so amazing. Uh -huh. um, can you imagine yeah. self-parking technology, <laughs> not just self-driving? That would be so awesome. Yeah, do you drive a lot? Yep. Not that much in Korea, mm -hmm. just because, I mean, public transportation mm -hmm. here is so amazing. Mm -hmm. But I did a lot back in the States. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, I find parking more difficult <sighs> than driving. Totally. I mean, especially on the weekends, mm -hmm. it is the worst. Mm -hmm. My biggest fear mm -hmm. is that someone's going to, like, drive on up and then just hit my car, get this huge dent. Oh, oh it's so frustrating. The worst. Mm. So what if I told you there is a robot that parks your car for you? Yeah, okay. I mean, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you saying this actually exists? Yes, and we are actually going to go and check out the technology in action. Really? Yep. Yeah. Let's go, Let's go, go! go. <laughs> hmm. Wow! Looks like we're here. Hey. We're here. What's this thing up here? Let's go check it out. Um, an automatic pay station? Mm -hmm. Honestly, it looks like an average parking lot. Well, at first glance, yes. But if you look below the cars, mm. robots are in action. And they're going to park the car for you. All you have to do is stop the car and get off like they usually do. Cool. Yeah. So the robot lifts up the car mm -hmm. and parks it for you. Mm -hmm. oh gosh, I am so excited mm -hmm. to see all this in action. Oh, look, look over there. Mm -hmm. The robot, it's moving mm -hmm. and it's looking for an empty spot. Found it mm -hmm. by reading the QR code on the parking line. And like that, it's uh -huh. parked 90 degrees. Man. That is crazy. Look at that over yeah. there. I feel like these robots here have some crazy skills. Mm. It's almost better than my dad and he's got 40 years of experience. <laughs> well, parking never gets easier. Mm -hmm. You know, another great thing about these robots is mm -hmm. that they park the cars super close to each other. So mm -hmm. you can put in more cars in the same given space yeah. and all of that while not having to worry about getting scratches. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I also heard that there's an app feature mm -hmm. where you can make reservations to pull out your car automatically. Gosh, that's nice. I love the reservation app because, mm -hmm. you know, with reservations, it kind of cuts down on yeah, time and yeah, waiting. Yeah. But also, it seems like all this technology here is really eco-friendly. Yeah. Because you don't have to worry about your engine running while you're parking. Oh, speaking of which, there's actually another solution that's eco-friendly. Hmm. Let's go check it out. Sounds good. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is this thing? I feel like a fairy in like a magic forest right now. Well, this over here is not a magic bench, but it's a smart air purifying mm -hmm. bench. It improves air quality. I mean, it even looks so eco-friendly here. Let me guess, this is one of those things that kind of takes out all the fine dust particles. Yeah, you're right. And that's because there are not only plants here, there's also an air purifier in action. And on top of that, a UV disinfector ray is in action here as well. So it's great for times like this. That's so amazing yeah. here. And you know what's even crazier? This thing can purify so much air per day. It's worth 105 trees and it covers 41,500 square meters. No way. I need to take a picture of this like <laughs> right now. This is yeah. great. Oh, no, I'm like, we've been going around all day. I'm uh -huh. completely out of battery right now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it because you can put it right here and your phone will be charged. Wait, really? Yeah. Okay, so you're telling me I can charge my battery, uh -huh. I can breathe purified air. Purified air. Now that is what I'm calling yourself Ujo, killing two birds with one stone. What? Mm -hmm. Your Korean skills are crazy. Thank you very much. <laughs>
<laughs> well, let me get this charging right now here. Oh, look at that. Wow. That works perfectly. And I love... Yeah. There's no charger needed. Yeah, no charger needed. This is perfect. Yeah. What can you do here? Life this is, is all simple. easy. Yeah. So much technology. Amazing. And now, breathe in breathe the in. fresh air. Mmm, so nice. <laughs> We have been doing so much walking today. I know. We've been around so much. Yeah. I've yeah. actually been feeling really thirsty mm -hmm. from all the walking we've done. Do you mind if we stop and get a drink at this vending machine? Oh, Kayla, that's not a vending machine. Wait, really? Yeah, it's an automatic recyclable collector. I mean, yeah, so what you do with this machine is you put empty cans hmm. and water bottles in it yeah. and they separate it and compress it for you. Wow. And you can actually receive points by putting in these uh, recyclable waste yeah. and entering the number in it. Wait, so I can get points uh -huh. for throwing away my trash? Yeah. <laughs> And what's even better is if you collect enough points, you can use it as cash. Really? Mm -hmm. So I think the whole experience of exchanging trash yeah. for cash changes the way you perceive recycling. Oh, totally. Yeah. I feel like it'll definitely discourage people like myself mm -hmm. from kind of, you know, disposing of non-recyclable products. Mm -hmm. All right, so press start mm -hmm. first. And then first put one all the way in here, right? Yeah. Can it, oh, no, it went all the way in there. Ooh. Oh, oh, there went. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, and look, you can see I got my points Yay. here. One point. Uh-huh. Oh, there it goes. Bye, bye. See ya. All right, and now that we're all done, then we just put in our cell yeah. number, right? Yeah. All right, so. Yay. Busan Smart Cities Integrated Operations Center. Woo! Let's go! Let's go check it out! Go, go, go! Control agents here are monitoring all surveillance cameras in Ulsan City 24-7. They even have resident police officers who can promptly respond to emergencies. Wait, all surveillance cameras in all of Ulsan City? Mm -hmm. I mean, how is that even possible? I know. Uh, let's first take a look around the control room and mm -hmm. then we can test some stuff out. Sounds good! Yeah! Well, these agents' desks have a ton of monitors and they even have widescreens. Yeah, so these agents monitor mm. these uh, cameras day and night, 24-7. That's how we can be safe all the time. Oh my gosh, oh, wow. So this black screen back here, mm -hmm. I feel like there's a lot of different features to mm. it. Is it because you can kind of search for keywords on all the different surveillance cameras? Yeah, kind of. So Osan City basically mm. has a lot of smart surveillance cameras. So you can search for specific people or cars yeah. through these cameras. For example, for people, mm -hmm. uh, characteristics like age group or gender or the clothes they are wearing mm -hmm. can be these characteristics. And as for cars, license plates or certain types of cars can be looked for. And and these cameras taught itself to do it through big data analysis. So they're really smart. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So let's say that there's like some accident mm -hmm. and the witness can only remember what the offender is mm. wearing. Mm. Do you think that would be enough information for them to catch the criminal right away? Of course, and that's not all. Mm. Uh, for example, people who throw trash away illegally or people who smoke in non-smoking areas mm. and you know people who don't wear masks at time like this, they will all get caught by these cameras. Gosh, you know, that's the thing is mm -hmm. people think like, oh, no one's gonna know, no mm. one's gonna catch me, but mm you're gonna get caught. Right. And then when you are caught, mm -hmm. it's like the shock of it is what prevents people from doing it ever again. Right, right, right. So as you can see, there are cameras installed in all parts of Busan City, especially nearby where there's more criminal activity mm. or nightlife. So if you're ever in case of emergency, you can just press the red button on the emergency bell and you'll be connected to this uh, control room immediately. Hmm, so if I'm in danger right now, mm -hmm. all I need to do is press this button and I can call for help immediately? Yes, mm. and that's not all. Wow. Okay? Ah, help me! So 
when the emergency bell is pressed, the officers immediately start monitoring the cameras near. Bell that was pressed. And on top of that, there is Police officers and firefighters are dispatched immediately when necessary. Wow. Great it's already a safe country, but mm -hmm. if they implement this all across the country, this is going to be the safest country in the world. Yeah. So we spent a day experiencing smart city solutions in Korea. What do mm -hmm. you think of them? Oh my gosh, I was blown away by mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. There are just so many different ways that we use smart city solutions mm -hmm. in our daily lives. Mm -hmm. Some that we don't even really realize and yeah. some we're not that familiar with. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine how cool it would be when these solutions get even more advanced and become a part of our daily lives? Oh my goodness, it'll be so much safer, mm -hmm. more convenient, mm -hmm. and cleaner. Mm. I'm really looking forward to seeing these implemented in more Korean smart cities. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I'm Kayla, I'm Eunyoung, and everybody come, come and join us! us.